Millie McIntosh showed off her blossoming baby bump on Tuesday in a cutout dress for her latest post on Instagram. The former Made in Chelsea star, 32, looked stunning in the image, as she wore a sexy beige knitted cult guy maxi dress. She definitely sported a pregnant glow in the image, as she basked in the sun posing with her hand on her hip. Millie's golden dresses were styled in a middle parting and wore them in soft waves which flowed over her shoulders. The heiress, whose bump was on full display in the snap, accessorized simply by way of just wearing large gold hoops. The expectant mother opted for flat beige sandals, ensuring maximum comfort. The social media influencer penned in the caption, Leo season with a lion emoji. Meanwhile, on her stories, she looked absolutely sensational posing up a storm in a mirror with her hand on her hip in one snap and showing off her burgeoning tummy in another snap. The posts come as Millie took to Instagram on Monday to document her 32nd birthday celebrations. She looked forward to the year ahead as she marked the occasion with a low-key garden celebration. Millie looked radiant in a pink and white floral maternity dress as she shared an embrace with husband Hugo Taylor. In the caption, she penned, another 365 days around the sun. This year I'm more grateful than ever, it feels so special to be growing a year older while also growing a new life. I can't wait for all that the year ahead brings. Hashtag Isis 32 Hashtag Leah season Recently, Millie bravely shared a selection of candid throwback photos of herself sporting maternity underwear, including adult nappies during the recovery from her first C-section. Detailing her experience in length, the influencer penned, picking back up on my C-section post from last week, this week I wanted to talk about my recovery. Thank you for sharing all your birth stories, I was so moved reading your comments. After I got home from hospital I tried to rest as much as possible. I was very fortunate that I had both Hugo and an amazing postnatal doula called Paula, who used to be my nanny, looking after us for the first three weeks which played a big part in my recovery. I didn't leave the house for at least a week when I felt strong enough to go for a walk around the block. I slowly started increasing the length of my walks but got carried away I did too much and ended up in bed with cramps and with heavy bleeding.